Welcome to this tutorial on how to use Edit in Game with The Sims 3 Create a World tool in 2025. Edit in Game is a feature that lets you edit lots directly in build and by mode inside the game. It also gives you a much better view of the world you're creating. To get started, if you've updated the game through EA in 2025, you'll need to download version 1.69 from the official Sims 3 website. When you own the game through EA, there's a common problem with Edit in Game. EA opens, then closes immediately. The Sims 3 launcher pops up, but nothing happens. Edit in Game just doesn't open. Create a World is a pretty old application. If you've spent time on the forums, you've probably seen that it's been buggy for over 10 years now. Since Origin no longer exists, and Create a World was originally made to work with Origin, EA now blocks Edit in Game from properly detecting the game. I'm going to close everything now, so you can see what happens. If you're facing the same issue I just showed you, here's how to fix it. On Mod The Sims, in a forum post that I've linked below the video, a user named Zade underscore Chris found a workaround back in 2011. He probably had no idea that, 14 years later, thousands of people would still be using his method just to get the tool working. We'll be using his solution to make it run. I actually recommend ignoring the full instructions in his post. He explains two ways to create your own EIG folder. I tried both, but honestly, the faster way is to just download his EIG.zip file at the bottom. Save it directly to your desktop, so it appears as a shortcut icon. Now, important detail for the 2025 version. You need to right-click the folder and select Edit with Notepad. Inside the file, change TS3W to just TS3. In my case, it's already done. Don't forget to save the notepad file before closing. And whatever you do, don't rename the folder. Now, to open Edit in Game, you'll need to manually find your world folder on your computer. I recommend pinning the folder to your quick access bar. It'll make things much faster every time you use it. Your world folder should be under Documents, Electronic Arts, The Sims 3 Create a World Tool, User Tool Data, and then Worlds. My folder is saved under a strange way, but the best way to find the correct version of your world is to look for the most recent save date. Before going any further, make sure that The Sims 3 and the EA app are completely closed. If either of them is open, it can cause major conflicts. Once you've found your world folder, place it side by side with the EIG shortcut on your desktop and simply drag your world file onto EIG. Don't click anything, it should launch all on its own. I'm going to skip the two loading screens to save you time. And now, here we are inside Edit in Game. You can now edit your lots just like in regular build and buy mode. Don't forget to save often. Personally, I've had a few crashes after long editing sessions. So better to be safe than sorry. Good luck. We all know that creating a custom world takes many hours of work. And I hope this tutorial helps you finally finish yours. Thanks so much for watching until the end. And best of luck with your world creation.